Hey guys, what's up? Coming at you with a new pickup video. And this is a shoe I have been very excited for. It is the Converse Sage Alcesser One Star CC Pros. So let's get right into it. Um, this is Sage's second shoe on Converse. Uh, the first one being the Chuck Taylor All Star Pros. These are great shoes, by the way. I love this leather on them. The second shoe, they decided to go with the Court Classic silhouette, which is, I believe, is a new silhouette. Well, not really new. The story goes, Sage or, or someone at Converse, I'm not really sure, they were like thrift shopping in Japan. They stumbled across a pair of dead stock Court Classic One Stars, and they're like, yo, this this is a dope silhouette. We should We should bring this silhouette back. And so we have these. So yeah, it's essentially, it's a kind of like a stripped down version of their one star silhouette. I think the thing that really makes this shoe is the fact that it's so minimalist. I mean, there's really not much going on on this shoe. It's a low top leather shoe with minimal branding. I mean, in that regard, I guess you can almost say it's like a poor man's common projects Achilles. Um, but you know for me it's it's hard for me to incorporate things like that like more high fashion items like that into my wardrobe so this was perfect i mean you know it's they're, they're just a pair of converses so you don't have to worry about them getting damaged or anything like that so speaking of them getting damaged um let's talk about this leather this leather it's it's a beautiful fine grain leather i mean this is pretty much the reason i bought it I'd seen these shoes online, but it didn't sell me until I actually saw these in store and I got to feel this leather with my hands. Um, I knew I had to get them. This leather is just awesome, this white leather. But the only problem I have with the white leather is that like, while it looks super cool, this is, I mean, this is technically supposed to be a skate shoe. It's um, Sage's Pro Model. This white leather, I mean, you can see it crease like really easily like that. And I mean, I've been wearing this around the house for a couple of minutes just to see how it feels. And you can already see there's like some scuffs right there on the toe box. And there's like another scuff here on the side, like right there. It, it, this leather is not very durable. And as a skate shoe, I don't know, just a couple of ollies in this. You're gonna scuff right through the the white white paint on the leather, and you're gonna start seeing the gray scuff marks. So, uh, just one session skating in these, they're gonna get like totally torn apart. I mean, not literally torn apart, but all the paint's gonna get scuffed. The leather's just gonna look like shit. I did notice, however, there seems to be um, a out. I don't know if you can really see. The light has to hit it just perfectly, but there's a slight outline of some sort of like inner toe cap in there. So I guess maybe since this is a pro skate shoe, they, they might have added some sort of like durability reinforcements in there. I don't know. Um, it's just the theory. There's definitely something there. So maybe it won't blow through really fast, but what I'm trying to say is this leather is not really a ideal skatable leather. Now they did have another colorway of this shoe, which is the navy colorway, and it comes in a long haired suede leather, which is, I think, a little more skatable than this. So if you were actually going to skate in this shoe, I would recommend that colorway. I mean, I just got this colorway because it looks sick. So I mean, unless you're Sage Elsesser, and you have like hundreds of these laying around, I would not skate in these because that would just totally ruin this beautiful shoe. So now that we got that out of the way, just for general wear, like fashion wear, I think these are totally dope. The silhouette is a low cut silhouette. You can wear with pretty much anything. There's very minimal branding all around. You got the perforated Converse chevrons, on the left and the right, and then you got the one star on the back, which is kind of also interesting because this is actually like a cutout into the leather, and the star is a kind of like a plastic inlay. On the tongue here, you got a gold foil print of this rose, super sick, nice little detail. 
So moving on to the outsole, um, it's a vulcanized shoe, pretty standard Converse outsole, nothing really much going on. You got a decent amount of board feel in the toe box, um, cushioning in the back. Not really too much to say. Um, inside the shoe, get this other pair. You got this um, pretty sick sock liner with this palm print pattern all over. Uh, it's um, this sock liner is actually a lunar lawn sock liner, pretty much identical to the sock liner that came in Sage's first shoe. So there's that. However, this is a little less comfortable. The shoe itself is a little less comfortable. I think because the Court Classic has a little less cushioning without the sock liner than the Chuck Taylor All-Stars. So that's one thing um, you might have to keep in mind. Under the sock liner there's a little like cardboard liner thing which is not very premium but I mean, well, no, no one's ever going to see that, it doesn't really matter. In terms of um, comfortability, I mean for skating. I know, like I said, I wouldn't skate in this shoe, but it's a skate shoe, so I'll kind of try to keep it skate-oriented. I don't like the Lunar Lawn as much as I like Vans' Ultra Cush and the Vans Pro Shoes. I think they give a little bit more support, but I mean, Lunar, Lunar Lawn isn't bad. You, it, the Lunar Lawn taper is down towards the toes, so you can still have a lot of board feel. In the back, you got the nice, thick heel cushioning here so you don't get heel bruises, jumping down large stuff. So I mean, yeah, as a, as, as a skate shoe, it's, it's pretty standard stuff. So yeah, I mean, that was a pretty short overview, but I mean, these are pretty minimalist shoes. There's not really not too much going on with them. I mean, that's what really makes them appeal to me anyway. So they're still sitting on a lot of shelves. Um, you can still buy them online, $85. So check them out. So I will roll some on-foot footage now, and thanks for watching. Peace.